Yeah, it's great. It's more than great. This place is a licence to print money, as well as being a very useful amenity for the whole village, of course. I'm sure. Right, this is the menu. It's very simple. Bacon sandwiches, sausage sandwiches, bacon, sausage and egg sandwiches, bacon sandwiches with tomato. Oh, I get the idea. And you can knock up a decent bacon butty. Renowned for it. Good, right. You'll be wearing this. I'm not wearing that. Yes, you are. It's for health and safety reasons. My mate said I were wearing a pinny. It's not a pinny. And anyway, it's a required uniform. Get it on. Scott. Hiya. Just thought I'd check if you're all right after last night. Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. I just, I just forgot to take my injection. All right. You know how friend who was diabetic at school? You should have told people we could look out for Listen, him. Listen, I'd rather we just keep this between ourselves, all right? It's nobody's business but mine. But hey, thanks for the concern. That's the trouble with working in a bar. When you're hungover, the last thing you want to be doing is serving beer. I feel so sick. Oh, if I'd have been stood up like you, I'd be feeling sick as well. Yeah, well, I'm not bothered about him. Well, I wouldn't put up with that sort of treatment. He wants bringing down a pick or two, if you ask me. Well, you can if you like, Trisha, but I wouldn't waste my time. Give Bernice a shout for us, will you? I'm going to lie down before I collapse. Oh, it's all right for you. You're the boss. And I intend to take full advantage of it. Phone! Oh, yeah. Could you not have answered that? I'm a driver. Not a receptionist. Right, well, nice attitude, Craig. You could help out a little bit more, you know. You what? I'm rushed off my feet taking Zoe to appointments that don't exist. I'm joking. Right, well, don't. I'm a bit worried about it, that's all. Sorry. Kiss me, Paddy. You passed. Sorry, you passed. <laughs> I didn't get one question wrong. I was in and out like a shot. Oh, well done, you. I'll start my lessons again now. Better find your new instructor, aren't we? I'm going to go look through the directory. I'm so excited! Good to see you being so positive. It's not easy. Four pages of jobs, and none of them as good as the one I was wrongfully sacked from. Yeah, I know someone who's looking for staff aboard a cruise ship. He rang me yesterday. Well, you'd love that, Nicky. Could sail him around the Caribbean, the sea, the sun. You just want me as far away from here as possible, don't you? That's not what I'm saying. And what's that under your arm? Job applications? Yeah. Oh, Chloe's on top, is it? Why are you wasting your time with the rest? This bitterness doesn't suit you. Yeah, well, it's all I've got. Now leave me alone. I'm busy trying to salvage my life. You can't win with that one, Dad. I was only trying to tell her about the cruise ship job. Well, I tell you, if I was her age with no ties, I would have snapped your hand off. Never mind. Hey, so are we set to look at this house later? Mm-hmm. I can't wait. Louise, can I have a word? I could give you a few appropriate ones. It's about last night, if you let me explain. Explain why you just disappeared? Left me looking like a total fool? Yeah, I'd like to hear that. Even Marlon's never been that ignorant. Shh. Can we go somewhere a little bit more private? I don't think so. Please. I'm waiting, Ray. Better show him, Louise. Forget him, pet. It's not worth it. Turn that off! What did you say? Put the radio station back on and stop messing about. Well, I'm sick of that golden oldie rubbish. Well, it's not for you, it's for the customers. Uh, any chance of a coffee? Of course, Zoe. <laughs> Danny will serve you. How'd you like it? Oh, it's a decaf latte with cinnamon a possibility. Somewhere else, maybe. Black one sugar's fine. Sorry, there you are. What? What is it? I don't want to be alarmed about. Well, what? Not my best this morning. <laughs> I wonder why that is. What's that meant to mean? Nothing. You've just been putting it away a bit lately. What are you suggesting? 
Listen, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm not saying you're an alcoholic or anything. I'm just... An alcoholic? No. Number one, how dare you? Number two, you must be out of your mind to even think that. Yeah, all right, Zoe, we'll talk later. It's not exactly the place, is it? And I need you in the surgery. So just, just as soon as you finish your coffee, we'll speak then. Yes, we will. Don't worry. Mrs. Birch, I'm a little busy. Oh, how's that, my? I'm here to discuss the PCC meeting next week. I mean, the whole thing is going to pot. Now, I think that you and I should... Mrs. Be Birch, I can't do this now. Why not? I've, um... Well, my mind isn't on the committee at the moment. Well, what is it on? It's a personal matter. Oh, well, if it's affecting your work, then you should talk about it. Now, I've always offered you my... That's very you... kind, but... No buts. You just tell me about it. Maybe we can work it out. I'm leaving the parish. What? I'm leaving for personal reasons. This place has nothing but bad memories to offer. Hold your second. Uh, hi. Thanks. Will you be making a decision soon about the job? Oh, definitely. We're almost done. <laughs> it's the quiet ones you've got to watch. I thought he was the strong, silent type. More like tall, dark and unreliable. Yeah, I thought he was different. Still, I'm lucky I found out early, I guess. Are you talking about Ray Mullen? Yeah, he stood out with Louise up last night. Oh, no, he didn't. Stand. I don't think uh, it's any of our business, Chloe. But um, I think he'd have to be a fool to stand on his own. I spoke to him about it earlier on, and uh, he doesn't want him to know about his diabetes. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. He seemed funny about it. Best we keep our mouth shut. Think of your duty. Not just to your parish, but to God. I have another duty, you know. To myself. Have faith. You, you must be strong. We all have times of trouble. But with the Lord's help, all things pass. This won't pass. I'm sorry if I've disappointed you. Well, you have. I mean, your personal life should not affect your ability to be a good vicar, which is what you are. Well, you were. That's all I am to you, isn't it? Just a vicar. You see, the book and the dog collar no further than that. That woman has really done a job on you, hasn't she? Yes! Yes, she has! Yes, you were right about Bernice. You wore me off her from the beginning. But I was in love because, and this may come as a huge surprise to you, I'm a man. A man with all the faults, frailties and contradictions of any other man. What are you doing? Here! I don't need it anymore! You! Yes, Edna? Don't yes, Edna me. You'd better get yourself over to that vicarage at once and stop your husband from making a grave mistake. Well, what's going on? You should know. You're the cause of it all. Hussy. Mind if I join you? No. All right, Craig, what can I get you? Yeah, I'll try one of them sausage rolls, please. All right. Nice penny, by the way. Can you eat sausage roll with no teeth? I'm sorry. I didn't realise you were sensitive about it. Danny will bring it over to you, Craig. <laughs> yeah. Don't get violent with my customers. Well, the village laughing stop wearing this. I know he cares about me, but the way he spoke to me, I felt like I'd done something wrong. I'm sure he didn't mean it like that. Do you think I have a drink problem? Well, I'm no expert, but I don't think you're an alcoholic. I'm just going through a period of change, that's all. It's understandable to maybe drink a bit more with the stress and everything, don't you think? Sure. I've been through a lot these past few years. I'm just trying to get my head round it all. You know, the best way to prove you don't have a drink problem is not to drink. You think I should cut it out? Well, it could be for the best. I mean, it's not party fretting, at least. <laughs> Enjoy. Paddy! I've been blackballed! Oh, oh nasty. <laughs> admitted it. Who? What? No driving instructor in the area will take me on. Emily, slow down. I've rung every school in the book. They all heard my name and either put the phone down or suddenly became fully booked. Flipping it, we travelled fast. 
tight-knit bunch these driving instructors. Are you smiling? No. Good, cos he's not funny. They can't do this to me. Who do they think they are? Don't worry. We'll sort something out. What's doing so much tonight? No, I can't. I'm gonna spend some time with my dad. All oh, right. Well, I haven't exactly seen a lot of him lately. Yeah, I understand. We can see each other another night. Just feel a bit guilty, that's all. I've rented that Bond film out for him. Well, likes his Bond films, does he? He likes his Bond girls. Don't we all? Andy? What? Cheeky. Well, this girl's got experience in buckets. And so has Chloe. Their CVs aren't that much different. Yeah, well, I think they are. There's lots more qualifications here, as well as this glowing reference. Yeah, I like this girl. But we both like Chloe. Yeah, granted, but I think Chloe might be, uh, well, it might be a little early for her to make the next step up. You're scared of what Nicola might say. Nonsense. Well, let's just give Chloe the job and stop messing about. We both know that she's a perfect candidate. Look, Chloe is one for the future, certainly, but I still think she's got a lot to learn. You're a grown man, Rodney. You can hire and fire whoever you like. You can't let your daughter dictate the terms. I'm doing no such thing. I just want to make sure that we employ the right staff this time. Look, Chloe is good, but I think this girl is much better suited for the job. I don't know what they need to have a big discussion for. It's obvious that job's mine. One thing I've learned is that there is never anything obvious about Rodney Blackstock. Yeah, well, he's always been straight with me. <laughs> I take it you've spoken to Edna. She just told me you're about to do something terrible. Well, I'm about to leave the village. What? I have to do it. But uh, I thought we were doing great. We're not supposed to be looking at a house later. I thought we were getting somewhere. I wanted to pick a time to tell you properly. But you were happy. I can't stand to see you every day. It's tearing me apart. What? We're doing much better, Ashley. You can't be saying this now. You can't leave. What about Gabrielle and the church? What did the bishop say? He advised me against moving, but I've got to get out. It's killing me. And if that means leaving the church as well, then so be it. Leaving the church? Yes! To hell with it! Look, every time I see you walking down the street, or as I pass the pub, or as I'm looking at you now, Benice, every time I see you, it reminds me that a little piece of me has died. A piece that will never come back. But Gabrielle... I'll still see Gabrielle. I'm a father and I love her more than anything. But I can't stay here. I have to get away from you, Benice. I have to do it to get some semblance of a life back for myself. Thank you, darling. All right, I better get back. Hey, that'll be Maggie and Rodney with your good news, huh? Mm. Hiya. Come in, we're expecting you. Thanks. Hiya. Hiya. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, no, thanks, Scott. I'm not stopping. It's uh, bad news, I'm afraid, Chloe. And I don't want you to be too disappointed. I'm really, really sorry. But we've decided to go with a more experienced candidate. But it's no reflection on how we feel about you or your abilities. It's just... It's not the right time for you to take this particular position. Oh. Sorry, love. But we really do value the work you're doing, you know. Chin up, eh? I really thought I got that job. Look, it's a carbon copy of what Rodney did to me. If I was you, I'd tell him exactly where he can stick his poxy job. You can't trust him. Hey, come here. Paddy, I appreciate you're worried about me. And I'm grateful. There's not many in this village would care. It just seems like you've lost track. What with the drinking... No, no, no. Forget about the drinking. It's not a problem. I don't know what's giving you the idea that it is. But if it makes you feel any better, I'm not drinking from now on. I'm not doing it to prove some point to you. I've just decided to cut it out. Right, well, that's good. I just want the old Zoe back, that's all. The old Zoe? And what do you mean? Well, the... The, um... Well, you know. No, I don't know. Look, I'm not trying to get you. I'm just worried about you, that's all.
Louise? Oh, sorry, Diane. I'll be out in a minute. I know that look. Don't worry, Pet. He did the right thing. He deserved everything he got. Yeah, maybe. But I did lose my temper a little. Never regret losing me temper, especially where men are concerned. Can't help thinking he might have had a genuine excuse. I mean, I should have at least heard him out. I think I embarrassed him. Take half an hour later and go round and see him. Mind you, if everything's going to be this complicated with him, I wouldn't bother. But that's just me. I think I should just give it one last chance. It's up to you. Is there any chance to get some service, mate? Hang on a minute. Stop slacking and serve my Scott. I'm not slacking. Get serving. Come on. Uh, we'll have two teas and a tuna sandwich, please. All right, Chloe, you're looking a bit down. Oh, don't ask. Rodney Blackstock, again. Why? What's going on? Oh, I didn't get the promotion. They're bringing in someone else. Do you know, he said that job at Prospects when she started. He just wants to be cleaning up and serving drinks. You know, I feel that put out. I don't even want to do that anymore. Well, to hell with Rodney Blackstock. Why don't you work here for me? I'm not sure. Oh, I'd love to have you working here, Chloe. I value my employees. All right, I accept. Danny, you're sacked. What? I'm giving you your cards. You're a cheeky workshy troublemaker, and you put too much sauce in the sandwiches. <laughs> well, all right then. But you have to tell me, Mum, you'll be needing this required uniform. Louise, I didn't expect to see you. I lost my temper. I should have let you explain. I'm sorry. It's me who should be apologising. Come in. Can I get you something? Coffee? Yeah, coffee's fine. Black, thanks. Have you eaten? I'm fine. Look, I'm sorry about this morning, but I would like to know what happened last night. Yeah, it was really unfortunate. I feel terrible about it. I suddenly remember this urgent phone call I had to make. It was a business matter, and uh, I thought it would only take a minute, but when I made it, everything turned out to be much more complicated, and I ended up being tied up all night trying to sort it out. It was entirely my fault. I understand why you reacted the way you did, and I, I am. I am so sorry. Forget it. Louise? Louise? I was having second thoughts about being angry at you, but now I can say I was right all along. You're a two-faced creep. And I don't know what bimbos believed your rubbish before, but I certainly don't. Look, if you... I came round here last night because I was worried, Ray. But you weren't here. You weren't anywhere to be found. What have I done to be treated like this? Over the last few weeks, I, I've been thinking a lot about you. I've been looking forward to seeing you. I even thought we had something starting up, something that could have been quite good. But now I realise you're just a shallow, dishonest... Look, I'm... I wouldn't have even minded if you told me a half-decent lie. Something that you put a little bit of thought into. At least that way I'd be able to respect your intelligence. I deserve honesty, Ray. But you're not capable of giving me that. Forgive me. Shove it, Ray. You've had your last chance. I'm diabetic. What? I'm diabetic. Last night when we were talking, I began to feel really unwell. I had to get out. I spent most of the night in the hospital. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. I can control it usually. It's just I forgot to take my injection. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I was ready to walk out of here. I hated you for what you did to me last night. You would have lost our friendship. You would have left me thinking you were a complete pig. And you'd have let all that happen rather than tell me you suffer from some minor condition. You're gonna break that cup. Why didn't you just tell me? I can't tell you what you want to hear. Why don't you try the truth? I never tell anyone. Why? It's a weakness. It's not good to give people something they can use against you. I don't want people knowing about me. Well, you must be very lonely. I rely on myself. That way I don't get let down. Why do that? Because in my business, a friend gets you killed. I'm a criminal. Am I being honest enough for you? 
What sort of crime? You name it, I've done it. What? Drugs? Drugs, protection, forgery, cars. But you want to get out of it, right? Well, you never get completely out of it, but... Yeah. I am trying. I wish I'd met you years ago. Louise is taking her time. You wouldn't give me half an hour off like that. She's probably making it up with him. She's had special treatment from you since she started. I bet they're in some passionate embrace. I'd rather be in a passionate embrace somewhere. Are you listening to me, Diane? I'm always giving you time off. She doesn't get special treatment. And we're running low on cheese and onion crisps, so go and bring some up sharpish. Anything else? Yeah, no, thanks, Lux. My best friend is Tony. And I've never met his wife and kids. Do you know, if I died tomorrow, nobody would care. Some people would probably cheer. They'd have a party and they'd be justified. I want someone to know what I'm really like, you know? It's like... I care. I know that sounds stupid, it's... No, it's perfectly normal. I'm sick of the disgust. I've... I, I just want to start over. You know, that, that's all I want. That's one of the reasons I moved here. I suppose I thought it would all just disappear. I'm glad I could talk to you. Why me? Why now? I never intended to tell you all this. I don't know. Maybe I trust you. Coffee's gone cold, dear. Do you want another one? Uh, no, I, um... Please, will you stay? I think I should go. I'll well, see you tomorrow. Louise. I don't know. I'll see myself out.